scene is alive and flourishing. Join us for a vibrant walking tour of the fifth edition of Art Fair Philippines. First of all, congratulations. It's a fantastic show. So this is your fifth year doing this, right? Yeah. We started in 2013 uh -huh. um, with one floor of this car park. And we had 24 exhibitors, I believe, for that one. Yeah. And this year, we have 46 galleries joining us. And we're spread out over four floors of the lake. That's amazing. The now much-awaited annual art event has become instrumental for the discovery of upcoming new artists and emerging new movements in visual and multimedia arts. The Filipino viewer is more open to all forms of contemporary art. Our video installations are always very popular now. Um, we have photographs also showing here with us. Um, you have an actually really nice sound installation. Yes, we do. This time. Okay, yeah. we're very, we didn't know what they were going to come up with, but it <laughs> seems like it's a very popular booth yeah. and we're very happy to have them. You know, yeah. they, we gave them free hand, they experimented and the results were great. So. That's great. Yes. And it's actually very interactive, which yes. is quite nice. So yes, like you yeah. can go up, touch the walls, and make different yep. sounds. Exactly. And a nice new approach to, to art yes. as well, yes. right? One of this year's highlights and crowd drawer was the sound art installations of Wasak, a collective of eight sound artists who came together especially for the art fair. Have you seen an evolution as well in the people who come here? Like, do, you, do you have a lot of younger crowds or before was it just a smaller circle? No, actually what's been remarkable about the art fair is we cut across all age groups and across, I suppose, um, income levels. I would, we, we get students, we get young working professionals, we get the hardcore uh, collectors. We have families on weekends. Everybody finds something to see and they really enjoy it. There's so great. much yeah. to see. There's yes. really so much to see. Are there any main highlights of this particular yeah. show? Well, our special exhibits, which we call Art Fair PH Projects, mm -hmm. is really the, are really the pieces that we commission, the fair commissions. We talked to, this year we've spoken to eight artists, we asked them to come up with special work just for the fair, and we brand it as Art Fair PH Projects, and those are the ones that, I guess, give the fair its character. Must people remember see. it, yeah. you know, because of, people remember the fair for that particular year because of those things. Art fairs are not only favorable to collectors and members of the art enterprise, its accessibility has helped introduce local contemporary art to a bigger audience. Art Fair Philippines has grown its core audience of 6,000 visitors in 2013 to a whopping 22,000 in 2016. So, and this year it's been a bit better organized as well, like the flow, you have a little bit more space to really enjoy the artwork. Um, well, we spread out over four floors. We realized that we wanted the reception area separate so that the sixth and the seventh floor of the building devote, are devoted exclusively to the exhibits. Yeah. You know, we have we think maybe mistakenly that you know Art Fair Philippines is only local art, but in fact that's not the case. You have quite a few exhibitors from abroad. I saw some really nice exhibits of Man Ray photographs as well. Yeah. Well, part of our mission when we when we started the fair is to really expand the exposure of the local audience to various forms of contemporary art. So we started the first year all local art, but then we realized as the audience started getting curiouser and curiouser, they wanted to see more. So now they're very open to bringing works from Japan, works from Indonesia, Man Ray, as he said. So it's it's great because then you really get um, more varied things here in the fair. Bigger, better, bolder. This year's tagline is definitely indicative of the future of art in the country. And I think contrary to when you guys started, you've actually started expanding into like sort of an art fair all over Manila. So there are all these pocket events happening, yes. right? We started this initiative this year called 10 Days of Art, which is really to spread art fair fever throughout the city. So we have food and beverage um, participation, we have public art all over, the highlight of which is James Nairs at the Ayala Triangle um, Fountains. That's a wonderful piece. That piece um, was shown at the Met Museum in New York, so it's wonderful that we have it here and people should go out and see it. That's really exciting. I mean, that's really changed the face of the art scene here. It's where you have to go to individual galleries to enjoy things and to have an event like this where everything comes together. It's really exciting. Well, congratulations Thank you again. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.